Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, this is a very exciting video and a video I look forward to filming every single year and that is a Kmart Christmas haul. So if you guys haven't been on my channel before and you don't know, I am obsessed with Christmas. It is my most favorite time of the year. I look forward to seeing what Kmart brings out for Christmas every single year. So I have already filmed a Kmart Christmas shop with me where I shopped for some of this stuff. So if you guys haven't seen that video, um, I'll leave it down below and in the eye because it is a good one. But there are some things in this haul that I didn't show you guys in the shop with me. Phil and I this year aren't living together just for faith reasons. So we don't have a whole place to decorate this. This year. Phil lives in Hawke's Bay which is actually currently where I am now and I live in Auckland so it's a little bit different to previous years in the way that we have done our Christmas shopping this year and rather than just doing one colour scheme this year we have just decided to do a fill in year. This just means we've been buying things in different colours just to put away for different colour schemes that we plan to do in the future or to add to colour schemes that we have already done. There is a mixture of different things Things in this haul in different colours. So we've got some silvers, some whites, some rose golds, some golds, like just the whole shebang basically. And I will let you guys know that this year Kmart is bringing things out so slowly. So there are still a few other things that are on my Kmart Christmas list to get. So if I do end up getting those other bits and enough bits from other stores, I will do another Christmas collective haul, which I tend to do every year. But I am trying to be a little bit smarter with my money this year, um, just because I do get married next year. I managed to find this whole bag of decorations plus a few things that are on the bed. I feel like this video could be a long one so grab a drink, grab a snack and let's get into this video. Okay so I may as well start off with tree decorations. I got a few tubes of baubles. I am still debating whether I go in and get some silver baubles just for next year's colour scheme because next year Phil and I want to do more of a frozen inspired like winter wonderland kind of theme with like blues, silvers, whites and glass but I don't like the shade of blue this year. We'll start off with the pink ones. So I wanted to get another tube of rose gold baubles because our tree that we bought last year is a seven foot tree and the tree that we had the year before when we did our rose gold colour scheme was a six foot. So I just wanted to get one more tube of rose gold baubles just to put away for when we use rose gold next. Just so we've got a few more rose gold baubles to put on the tree. I have actually thrifted a whole heap of extra like rose gold baubles. But I think after this I will be set on rose gold baubles. And I really liked the shades of rose gold baubles this year. So their pink sometimes changes year to year. So... This is the colours that I have already in my colour scheme, so I thought this will just match the ones I've got. So all of these baubles are the same size, so these ones are called the 10 pack 6 centimetre baubles with the strings attached. So I don't have any of the giant baubles this year, although I might get a pack of the silver ones of those. So these are like that middle size bauble ones. Um, and these were $2.50, which I believe are cheaper than last year. I believe these tubes were like $3 last year. And then I also picked up two of these green baubles. So again, they're that like middle size. And I picked these up because this is literally the shade of green I was after last year. Like if you guys watched my um, Kmart Christmas haul last year, I got more of like a sagey light green bauble. But this was the kind of classic green I was talking about. So of course this year yeah, they released them and not last year when I actually needed them. So I thought I would grab them and just put them away for when we do classic Christmas next. And I really like the Kmart baubles because you get like different textures. Like you've got like sparkly ones and matte ones and then these ones here that are wavy and textured. And my mum is actually thinking about getting a set of these green ones just because it is a very nice 
green and a lot of the green ones have actually gone this year so I'm guessing a lot of people want this kind of classic shade of green. I did actually think they were going to bring out black baubles because last year people were asking came out for black baubles but they didn't bring them out. I've only got those three at the moment but might end up going and get the silver ones as well. Phil kind of wants to leave it till next year but I'm like if we're in lockdown next year then we might not get them and I did think this year that this video would be an unboxing and not a what I've picked up because I do live in Auckland and Auckland is in lockdown at the moment and I managed to get out. So next up we might do the first thing that I actually bought in the Christmas range this year and that is this little pack of silver reindeers here. So you get two in the pack. This year they've gotten really slack with their names of things I think because they've just called this decoration and in previous years when they've released these they've been called the two glittered reindeer. These are two dollars and I just thought this silver was really really nice and it will be perfect for our theme next year. I currently have these reindeers in a rose gold and a gold. So next up we have two of these little bird clips here. So again these ones are just called decoration and they were two dollars each so I'll show you guys them up close so I've got this like rose gold color here because I just thought it was really elegant and super nice and I've got these bird clips in white and I always use them every year so I thought it would be nice if I kind of like was able to change them up with colors and then I just thought the gold was super cute as well hopefully my camera is focusing all right today some days the focusing doesn't really work and other days it works fine and I thought the gold would be good to have in case I just want to do like red gold and green one year and I don't have to worry about all the white decorations next up I picked up this little pack of like silver poinsettia flowers here they're very very glittery and the Kmart glitter does transfer so if you don't like glitter, then you won't like most of the decorations that came up. But this one is just called the Decoration 4 Pack. And it was $2. And I haven't got any of these in my collection. So I thought they would just be nice um, just to put on the tree for next year. I do have them in different colours as well. But I thought we'll just start with the silver and see how they actually look on the tree. I'm hoping next year they'll bring out some more blue things. Because I feel like this year it was more of a kind of rustic. So lots of like greens and golds and whites and wood. And little pops of pink. Like there weren't too many other colours. I am actually really impressed with the range this year they do have a lot of really nice things hello um, friends so I thought I'd just quickly jump in here and add these into the video it's actually the day after the day that I filmed the haul they released a few decorations this morning and came out that I had been eyeing up that I actually mentioned at the end of the video that I wanted that I actually will end up cutting out because obviously they are here right now so I thought I'd start off with these really cute gingerbread house decorations these again were one of the first things that I eyed up on the website that I wanted. I got this little cute blue one here. I thought that will be really nice for our theme next year. I also got it in white because I thought white goes with any color scheme that we're planning on doing in the future. And then I also got the green one because last year, like I've mentioned multiple times in this video, I was struggling to find green decorations. So I just thought this will be nice just to put away for when we do classic Christmas or if I do a theme with like green, white and silver, then at least I can put these two together and next year I can put these two together. They did also come in a red but I've already got a lot of red decorations and anytime I use red I'm going to end up using green anyways. So these were $3 each and then I also got some of these bad boys. So these are just the little clay decorations that are a dollar each as you can see. I got some of these last year and I just like having a look through them every year just to see what they bring out. So this year I got a little angel. You can't really see her face very well because this is covering her face but I don't have many angel decorations I think I've only got one I got a little Santa so I do already have two Santas but this one's cuter than the one that I have so I just thought for a dollar I'll just add them into my collection I got a little elf as well which is super cute and then I got this little sleigh because I thought it was really cute and then I also got this little reindeer as well thought they'll just be fun to put in my um, collection with my clay decorations that I got last year and eventually Actually, I do want to do a second tree in my home of just like random ornaments and stuff so I plan to like have these put aside for when I do that tree. Again they have more of these online as well um, and in store but those are just the ones that I like and it's really hard to 
order these particular things online because you can't choose the style or the color you just get what you get and now I guess it carrying on with the rest of this haul and then I think these are the last two tree decorations that I have to show you guys and they are just these two little nutcracker decorations here now I did not think they were bringing these out this year because they brought out more of a like stacked tower of mini nutcrackers and I hadn't seen these even on the Australian website and I was gutted because I really wanted them I did actually hope they would bring them out in silver this year but they brought them out in green white and gold so I thought I'll just get a couple different colors and then fingers crossed next year they'll bring out a silver one I got one of these little guys here in white they're really cute with their little black hat and he's just holding a green tree so I thought yeah if worse comes to worse and they don't bring out silver next year then at least I've got the white one that I can use and then of course the green I got the green nutcracker like I just think he is super cute I don't know if he's focusing or not probably not knowing my camera there we go and he's really cute holding this little like I think it must be like a silver trumpet or something in his white hat literally this would have been perfect last year because I was struggling to find green decorations last year I think last year I got a red and a gold one so I just thought this would be nice for classic or I even thought if I do a green and white and silver theme at least I've got the green and the white that I can hang on the tree so I've got a couple different options in my collection of colored nutcrackers that I can play around with maybe we'll do Christmas red room decor next. So I may as well stick with the nutcrackers, right? And get them all done and out of the way. I couldn't help myself and I got another nutcracker. Now I do already have a nutcracker like this, like this height in two colors. I have him in a red one, which I bought last year. And I also have him in a rose gold, which I bought the year before. But I thought this will be nice for our color scheme next year. Um, so this is him up close. Hopefully you can kind of and then you've got the little thing that they can move. The thing I didn't notice about it when I picked it up is that it has got a little bit of a dent in here, which is really annoying. But when I picked him up, there were only three of them, like three of the white ones left. And the other one was dirty on his arm. And then the other one, the teeth didn't match up properly. Like it was literally like that. And I was like, no. So I picked him up, but it wasn't enough for me to notice when I actually picked him up. It was just when I left the store that I noticed. I just thought he was super, super cute with his little silvery hat and then the little gold tree. This year they do also say 2021 on the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, I think you guys can kind of see there. So I'm hoping that this is the last Nutcracker I'll have to buy. And this one was $10. And he's just called the Nutcracker 34 centimeters. Like the white will go with multiple different color schemes as well. And then the last Nutcracker related thing that I bought is this little guy. So this concept was new this year and I thought it was brilliant. But I thought this would have been perfect last year, obviously, because I was struggling to find green decorations. So I thought I'll put this little guy away for when we do classic next um but this is him up close he's really cute and then you've got him on the little horse and i just think that the green glitter is really really cute um and then he's got the little little talky mouth he was 15 dollars, so a little bit pricey i feel like he should almost be like seven dollars if the other tall one that i just showed you is ten dollars but i just really wanted him and um, they also came in gold but i just thought i'll get the green one for now and then put him away for classic so yeah they had a lot of different options for nutcrackers this year so you had the one on the horse you had the tall one i just showed you you had these little ones and then you had the little like stacked ones on top of each other and you've also got the massive how tall are they like 64 centimeters I think for $20 and I was debating whether to get this size or to get the $20 taller one but Phil didn't want the taller one so I just <laughs> got this one instead so I picked up this cute little like white and silver robin the legs kind of feel like wire but it doesn't look like you can mold them they have three other different styles of this one of them had like a little bit of pink here and I almost bought that one but then I thought this one will be easier to use in different color schemes like I could use this in my theme next year so this one is just called the Christmas Robin and he was five dollars yeah he's just super cute when I saw they were bringing these out I was like oh I kind of want one and then I went into Kmart yesterday and they had them so I just impulse bought him but I'm also not mad about it because I think he's super cute so this 
is what is making my bag so glittery. So this is really nice. This is just like a rose gold bottle brush tree. It just drops glitter like nobody's business. Like I don't know if you guys can even see. Let me just. But this one is just called the Tall Bottle Brush Trees. This was $10 and they also brought these out in like a green and a white fleck. But I bought a tall green bottle brush tree last year. But this year they've just kind of cut them in a little bit to actually look more of a classic tree. So I didn't need the green but I just thought the rose gold was quite nice and different to what I've got in my collection. I've got a pack of the little like three bottle brush trees that they release. I've got them in green and white and then obviously I've got that green one that I told you guys about and then I also found a like gold bottle brush tree that's not quite as tall as this but almost as tall as this from the op shop so I just thought I have the rose gold in my collection and then I can kind of just play around with it with different color schemes and then the last kind of like tree related room decor that I have to show you guys is this little plant here now this was one of the things I eyed up on the website straight away and it's one of those things that I think you'll kind of have to like mold and kind of like play around with it to make it look really good but they released this in the red and the green and they also released a white one the one I thought this one was just more like traditional and classic but this one is just called the mini berry plant and it was only five dollars and it's got the really nice like gorgeous little hessian wrap and we've got a tree in our collection that's just like the tall little green one I think it's like 60 centimeters tall or something but it's got the little hessian wrap so I just thought that'll bring like a little bit of continuity hopefully I'm in kind of the same position my battery just died so I just changed it over to my other one and I'm hoping this one is not gonna die so the next room decor item that caught my eye on the website is this little stack of books if you guys don't know Phil and I are massive bookworms like we really love to read in our old apartment we had a massive bookshelf and it was like the main feature in our living room so when I saw they were releasing this little stack of tabletop decor books I knew that Phil and I had to get a stack so we got the more like classic traditional looking ones so these ones down the spine just say Merry Christmas wishes in this really nice kind of like goldish font and then they've got this little berry thing with a little pine cone on the top and it kind of matches this then it's just got the little like twine or rope or whatever it is um holding them in place and I just thought this was super cute um you can get a white version of these as well so these ones are just called Christmas decor but these are six dollars they'll just be really nice just to like sit on our coffee table or sit on a little entry table and it's just kind of nice just to quite easily add like a little pop of Christmas so next up we have a couple of like reindeer related things so the first reindeer related thing that I picked up is this cute little like silver reindeer. Now they have released these before. Um, they've released these like the last couple years I think. They've released them in black and silver before and they also released them in gold this year. But I thought I'd get one of the silver ones just to put away for Phil and I's colour scheme next year. It's actually quite heavy which is quite nice. These ones are just called the Poly Resin Reindeer and they're just $5. These sell out really really quick. I've got a glass reindeer thing that I bought from farmers not last year but the year before so I'm gonna use that but I thought in combination with this it will be quite nice. And then the last reindeer related thing I just picked up yesterday. Now I had been eyeing this up on the website for so long so the Kmart locally to me in Napier just released these yesterday so I went in and grabbed one because today they're probably going to be gone <laughs> and it is one of these little gold sitting reindeers you can also get them in like a standing version as well I asked Phil which one he preferred because I really didn't know like I was cool with either and he wanted the sitting down one which I think is quite good because I think it was last year that we bought a like standing tall glittery red reindeer which they do have this year so I just thought if we have that one and then this one sitting down it just creates different heights these ones literally feel so good quality and these are actually quite heavy so these ones are called the modern reindeer and they're $10 each to be honest I do think the price is a bit steep for this I think these should be about $7 because in previous years they've done little ceramic sitting reindeers and they've been $7 but I just didn't care to be honest because I really really wanted this I feel like I have more like Christmas room decor this year than any year that I have bought from 
came out for Christmas. But they just released so much good room decor this year. The next room decor piece is probably my most favourite thing or one of my most favourite things in this entire haul. And it is just this cute little like Christmas tree tin sign. So it just says farm fresh Christmas trees. 50 cents hot cocoa, 50 cents sleigh rides, cut and carry, pine, fir, spruce and cedar. It's just tin. Got the little hanger so you can hang this up or it would just be quite cute just displayed like this on a table. This is the back so it's got the little indent here. So these ones here are just called the Christmas sign and they are only $10 each. And I really like the wooden frame. I think it looks really elegant and I just really love this little print. Like I've seen so many people DIY this print onto things and I really wanted something with this print so I thought it was really cute. You can also get a, another version of this sign but it's more of like that Christmas character kind of vibe so it's like turquoise and says like North Pole and has like the Santa and friends characters on it. Hello friends. So I just wanted to jump in here and just give you guys the last little insert or update in this haul video. Sorry if you can see or hear any flies buzzing around in the background but I went into Kmart this morning and picked up these last two bits which are kind of like the last two decor bits that I had my eye on. Judging from what I have seen they have brought in all of their lights and stuff really really late this year um, and both of these are little light ups so I thought I would start with this little white candy house here. Now I bought one of these last year in a brown and I bought one the previous year I think in a rose gold but I really wanted a white one um, just for our colour scheme next year and I thought the blue on the top will be really nice as well to bring out the blue in the tree. Obviously it does have a bit of the red but you can't really do too much about that but I just thought this was really cute and it's a different shape to the other ones that I've got. The other ones are more like pointy upwards whereas this one's more square so I quite like that as well um, and I really wanted to get my hands on it. So these ones are just called the battery operated light up clay dough house and they are $7. So they actually have made them different this year. So they actually have a little battery pack on the bottom and then a little switch whereas before they had a little um, tag that you would pull out. So these ones look like you need three double A batteries which is quite good and I actually like that they've changed that because I feel like those batteries are easier to find than the other ones. They also come in two other colours. They come in a red and a brown this year. And then I also managed to get my hands on these which I am so so excited about. And again they're little light up villages so you get one that's slightly smaller and one that's slightly bigger. So these ones again just have the little battery packs on the bottom which is super handy. You need two triple A batteries for these ones. So these ones are just called the Light Up Ceramic Village Houses and it was $7 for the pack which is super good. That's like $3.50 a house. And this is a new concept this year but I have also seen these in Farmers. But the ones in Farmers are like $25 each. So when I saw Kmart were bringing out a pack for $7 I got super excited. Again these are white. There's a little bit of gold on the top but these will be able to go with every colour scheme that we do. And I had literally been eyeing these up for so long. Um, I had to go into two different Kmarts this morning to try and find them. Carrying on with the rest of this video. And the last two like room decor items I'm gonna put in the room decor category but I've actually bought them to put away for when Phil and I have kids and they're kind of like an awkward thing that I don't really know what category they're gonna be put in. Another thing that caught my eye on the website is this little sign here. Now the reflection is gonna be a pain in this so I'm gonna try and show you like that. So this is just the Christmas movie night sign and it just says now showing down the bottom and then it's just like a little blackboard that you can write what movie you're going to be watching and then in the back it does come with some little chalk and a little duster by the looks of it. So this one is just called the Christmas movie board and it was five dollars and Phil and I always watch Christmas movies around Christmas time so I just thought this will be something fun for when we have kids and they can pick a movie and then we can write what movie we're going to be watching and this was a new idea um, that they released this year. We're not pregnant yet I just want to preference that. It's in the near future and you've got to buy these Christmas kids things when you see them because there's no guarantees they'll even bring them out the following years. And then the last kind of Christmas thing I bought for when we have children is this cute little Christmas babushka thing. Now this is $10 and I am not usually a fan of Russian dolls but I thought this 
is just kind of cute. So you get Santa, which is the starting one. And then your next one is the little reindeer. Your next one is your little elf. The next one is your little gingerbread man. There we go. And then your last one is this little Christmas tree. Hold up. There we go. Like, I just think that's so cute. Like, such a cool idea. Um, They haven't released anything like this before, and they're just wooden. And I just thought that'll be a bit of fun for our kids. Um, Maybe when they, like, hit, like, the toddler age, just to kind of play with this at Christmas time. Alrighty, and then the last category that I have to show you guys are like Christmas homewares. So I currently don't have any Christmas wrapping paper or ribbon or stickers because I really don't know what's happening with Christmas this year. The first homeware item actually that I bought is actually one that I don't have with me at the moment. The item that I bought is a pillow. Now my local Kmart has not released any of their cushions yet. Um, They're still getting them in. But my sister lives in Wellington and her Kmart had the pillows so I got her to go in and get me this pillow but it's basically just this really nice white square pillow with like a little kind of like wreath inspired circle with leaves um, that just says joy in the middle in gold font and if you guys watched my Kmart Christmas haul from two years ago I got a merry and bright pillow that also has that kind of wreath kind of design with the gold font it's not quite the same leaves and stuff but I just thought it will go really nicely with that pillow so it was only eight dollars and I just think it's really nice and elegant and I do have one pillow already that says joy but it is a longer pillow and it's pink I'm trying to be strict now with the cushions that I buy and it is getting harder for me to buy Christmas cushions because I do have so many already that one really caught my eye and the Kmart Christmas cushions are always really thick and always really good quality. So next up we have an item that I actually bought last year but Phil and I wanted to get at least two. We went back on Boxing Day to try and get another one and they had completely sold out of them. And that is just one of these decanters. So this one is called the Embossed Glass Decanter. You can fit 900 mils in here which is good because they didn't tell you that last time. And this says it's dishwasher safe. Phil and I just prefer to hand wash these just so that it doesn't get wrecked but it looks really good quality the last year's one was like soda lime glass i think and it looks like it's exactly the same this year but it is honestly really really nice um it's got the little thing um and it's gonna seal like it's pretty oh like it's, it's on there like pretty tight and i just think this is a really nice gift to give to someone as well for christmas if they are into the alcohol or they own a bar cart and this was only ten dollars which is crazy um last year they were nine dollars so they have raised the price of these a little bit but if you try and buy them anywhere like in farmers they go for like a minimum of sixty dollars and even if you buy them in the op shops they're like twenty five dollars plus and we just keep this on our bar cart all year round and then i have two items left so this next item again was actually the first thing that caught my eye on the Kmart website when I had a look at their Christmas stuff and the thing that caught my eye is this massive ceramic baker here now this is huge this one is 6.5 centimeters in height 42.5 centimeters in width and 24.5 centimeters in diameter it says oven to table cookware perfect for cooking and serving sweet or savory dishes it's oven safe microwave safe dishwasher safe and freezer safe which is great and I just thought this will be really nice for Christmas if you're having like a massive barbecue you could put all the meat in here if you're doing a pasta dish you could put that in here you could do like roast potatoes and stuff or you could even do like a dessert in here like there's just so many options it will feed a lot of people as well because it is massive and I like that it is red on the bottom because it is very Christmassy and then it's got this cute little saying on the inside so it just says Mrs. Claus's secret recipe mixed together the heaps of love and joy don't scrimp because there's never too much stir in the christmas chair and then sprinkle some laughter on top bake until delicious and then it's just got little like 
Christmas trees and whatnot around the outside. And they do have a like circular version of this, but Phil and I both liked the rectangular one. Um, so we got the rectangular one. This one was $14. We just like having a selection of like Christmas serving wear. And then the last thing that I've put in the like Christmas homewares category and the last thing I have to show you guys is this candle. Now I will be honest I am not usually a massive fan of the Kmart Christmas scents but when I smelt this I fell in love. This just smells so good. So it's the Tis the Season Fragrant Candle. The It says tea. I don't know what that stands for. But it says fruity, cranberry and M. I don't know what that stands for. It says pomegranate, floral and then B it says citrus and musk. So I'm guessing that must be like the notes or something in it, but I don't really know. But this is huge. Look how massive this thing is. Like this is my head. This is my hand. This thing is so thick. It is really nice and elegant. So you've got the little tis the season thing on the front and it's got this really nice lid. Um, it is just one wick, which to be honest, I think it should have been two, but it just smells really, really sweet. But it just kind of smells a little bit like grapefruit and cranberry. And I just am a massive fan of like fruity or sweet scents. This will probably keep us going for like four Christmases to be honest. <laughs> Maybe even five. But these are selling out really quick as well so if you want one definitely recommend going now. So yeah that is everything that I have picked up at the moment for Christmas from Kmart. I'll quickly let you guys know a couple of other things that I am eyeing up from the Christmas range. So the first thing that I'm desperate for are the gold round placemats and a gold table runner. I actually want these for our wedding. Um, for our reception. Again, the silver baubles I might end up getting this year. But yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this Kmart Christmas haul. Like I mentioned before, I do feel like it has been a long one. If you guys did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box. I have got multiple Christmas hauls on my channel from Kmart um, over the years because I have been out of home now for four Christmases so I will leave my Kmart playlist down below and in the eye as well. I change up my colour scheme every year because that's how I did it as a kid and I really enjoyed like having the freedom to choose every year so I want to give my kids the same upbringing. So yeah let me know down below if you guys have picked up anything from Kmart for Christmas this year. I would love to know. Let me know what you guys want to see in the way of Christmas content this year because I'm kind of in two minds. I'm like if I'm still in lockdown stuck here and I can't go back home I definitely will do vlogmas because I won't be working at all but if I do go back to Auckland I might end up doing 12 days of Christmas and yeah I think that's everything and I will see you guys in my next video bye oh decisions decisions what do I want to put now this will be interesting oh my gosh just in a struggle city right now he's a bit dusty but it's okay. The glee, the glean? The Hello. You doing all right? Yeah. Glitter everywhere. Honestly, the bottom of this bag is full of glitter. <laughs> Do you want to come and show them your outfit? Oh, hey. Yeah, you look really smart. And show your yeah. shoes. Yeah. We're going for yeah. dinner tonight, so. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready, but Phil's ready. <laughs> yeah. Even though we have like two hours. Yeah, because <laughs> I can't be bothered getting trained uh, later. But no, you look This nice. is me being lazy and getting ready early. Yeah, but you look nice though. Oh my gosh, I literally thought this tree had broken, but it hasn't. The Mary, the Mary. Oh my gosh, this is covered in glitter. <gasps> Holy. Okay, let's just, Phil's neighbors just like yell random stuff at random times throughout the day and it's really annoying.